everyone. So I'm in the truck because we're getting ready for a road trip. Short, short, short one day road trip. Um, but we wanted to talk about what we do to get this ready for a road trip of any kind. In this case, we're doing, um, again, like a day trip, but it's still a lengthy ways away and back. Um, but so I was talking to Matt and he's doing part of it and then I'm doing part of it. He does the maintenance part. So he's going to do the maintenance part. So he doesn't like talking while I'm working. Sorry about my neighbor's dog going crazy. Um, but yeah, opposite me who vlogs while I'm working. But so three things that he said he would uh, recommend for you all to double check every time. Some of this is basic for people. But again, another reason we do this is for our kids because our kids, you know, look to us for advice and things that we're doing. So the three things that he would recommend for anybody looking to do a road trip for the first time in your own personal vehicle. Um, number one, always check the oil. Check the date the last time you changed it, which right now is exactly what he's doing. He's actually changing our oil on it before we do this road trip. Number two, check your tires. Um, we recently just did that. We went uh, yesterday, yeah, the day before I filmed this one. Um, we recently went and had our tires taken care of and all that. And number three, he said check all your fluids because the most annoying thing for him is to get like 50 miles down the road and the windshield wiper uh, light come on because like the windshield wiper fluid light come on because I mean that's annoying. It'll just stay on. It can be almost like still have some in there and not even be empty. That light's going to come on. So check all your fluids. Transmission, a uh, coolant, everything. Just check all of that before you hit the road. Me? I'm going to work on the truck itself. First thing I am taking care of is I want the windows done. I can't stand when the front windshield is streaky while I'm driving. And I mean, I do a lot, of, like we split it usually, but I'm going to go ahead and take care of the windows. So first thing we're going to do, and I found that like actually using the automotive wipes for windows is actually better than using like the spray on spray. So this is what we're going to use to clean the interior windows. We'll probably take it, may, may not take it through a car wash, but this is definitely what we're gonna use on the interior window. Just decided to do things a little different than I was going to. I'm just gonna go ahead and vacuum first so that none of the dust gets up like on the windows. And I did wait for him. He's not under the truck while I'm climbing in the truck to vacuum. So we're doing it, kind of taking turns right now. But yeah, it's not terrible right here. The floorboards are kind of bad, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that. This stays in here. This is one of our emergency things. It's a recycled Temptations container from somebody else. And we fill it with grocery bags for just in case. Trash bags, sick doubled up. If you double them, you can use them as barf bags if needed. So those stay in here in that cubby with pork at the moment. And I'm just gonna go ahead and vacuum out everything. That was a little bit worse than what I thought vacuuming wise, but one of the kids was like, oh, I can use glass cleaner wipes. So she did. So she did all the back ones and these front side ones. I'm going to do the front. And then after that, I know I didn't show a lot, but like vacuum constantly going, kids helping carry stuff in, um, moving the truck blankets around. But once I'm done with the windows, I'm going to dust and then we're going to call it done and there we go everything has been vacuumed cleaned all the fluids checked um tires taken care of and we're good to go for a road trip so yeah that's pretty much it again didn't show a lot because like constantly you know in and out with the vacuum and dusting and kids were doing glass cleaner while i was doing it but yeah I'm glad that we can tag team like that. Matt taking care of the oil and stuff. And then I can take care of the vacuuming and all the tiny crevices. Um, so that kind of works out. Both of us doing it together. And we're set to go. So we're looking forward to our next road trip. If you have any more questions, let us know in the comments below. And we will see you next time. Mm -hmm.